Okay, well, good evening. My name is Professor Phil Shapps, and I will be your instructor for the next 10 weeks. I have two classes, so um, it basically means that uh, we may have more than one person from other classes. Oh, it looks like we have I don't know, 10 or 12 people coming in. So we'll just keep going straight ahead, and uh, there's a lot of good information here. Now, let me just tell you the way you know I work, uh, and that is that uh, I will give you templates, and I actually tell you what I'm looking for. And if you follow that, it makes my job easier, which makes your grade better. So let me tell you a little bit about me. So uh, that's me, and I hope to help you achieve your goals in, uh, in marketing and strategy. Uh, I sent out, um, in discussions you're going to see, I sent out like a little questionnaire kind of thing. Uh, and you can use that as one of your peer posts. And all I'm wanting you to do is just tell me what you think marketing is. There, don't do any research. Just ask, answer those questions. What is marketing? What is marketing to you? What is marketing strategy to you? So this way, in 10 weeks, you'll come back and say, ah, I either had it right or I had it wrong, or I had it somewhere in the middle, which is fantastic. Either way, it doesn't make a difference. Do the best you can. Okay, about me. I was the executive director of marketing for Universal Pictures for over 20 years. And at Universal, I worked on the marketing of over 400 feature films, including E.T., Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Schindler's List, The Grinch beautiful mind and I work with Steven Spielberg and Ron Howard and uh, I've done other things I was a, a director of marketing uh, United States uh, Europe Middle East and Asia for a software company and I am an adjunct which means I teach at other schools and I've been doing this for about 10 years and I really enjoy it at Universal Pictures when I left in 2003 my yearly budget uh, was $60 million, and uh, I was in charge of print advertising. Now, why did I leave? Because print advertising went south for the winter, and I saw the writing on the wall. Everything was going digital, and I decided to consult and do other things, and it was really a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, you can go to my website and see some of the things I've done for the longest time. Uh, you can see here I worked on the Academy campaign for A Beautiful Mind. What you're seeing on the left is the kind of stuff I did. And then you can see here, you see my name down there, and uh, we won the Academy Award. Um, we were spending about $17 million a week in full page ads across the country to get people to. Uh, you know, vote for our film, and so, uh, you know, we kind of bought it, bought it, bought it. Okay, so our class will focus on brand management and how marketing should be approached as a partner in strategic decision making, both internally and externally. So we're gonna study, and basically, brand, let me tell you a little bit about that. The brand is the company, and the product is what they make. So the fact is that um, Nike is the brand and shoes is the product. And, and that's kind of why I've been asking everybody to come up with a brand and a product. And, and one of the reasons is because you wanna make this class really easy, okay? Why do something complicated when I'm not asking you to do it? I just want you to answer the questions and I grade you based on your competency to be able to answer the questions. If you understand the material, you're gonna get a great grade. And maybe that's different from other instructors, but it's just the way I do it. I've been, I'm a marketing guy. I, I can read your work and I can tell you exactly if you get it. So we'll study strategic positioning, marketing opportunities, pricing strategies, market analysis, as well as product differenti differentiation. If you don't know what any of these things are, don't worry, because it's just the vocabulary. You're gonna learn it 
you know, and if any of those things like, you know, you can't sleep tonight, just go to, just Google it and just say, whoa, what is strategic positioning? Oh, I'll Google it. Uh, you will be doing a SWOT analysis and uh, that will be on the company. That's why I told you to pick a big company because it's so much easier. It's easier to do a SWOT analysis on Amazon than it is, uh, you know, um, you know Johnny's Donuts or Voodoo Donuts in Portland, Oregon. Uh, you know, who do you compete with? You know, like Winchell's Donuts down the street. They're a much bigger company. Uh, so a SWOT analysis. Now, the one thing people don't get about the SWOT analysis is that it's very specific. So you've got your your SWOT, which is your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But here's the important factor. And here's the other students who don't, and I have about 60 students altogether, who don't listen to this, they're not gonna get it. And that is that strengths, we're looking for the strengths inside the company. We're looking for the weaknesses inside the company, okay? So that would be maybe there is issues with um, getting supplies, management, um, human resources. Um, maybe your CEO is not, you know, is not doing his job. Uh, and opportunities happen outside the company. Opportunities and threats also happen outside of the company. A threat could be like government regulation. Uh, and... Uh, We'll be talking about the marketing mix, and that's your product, price, place, and promotion. And um, one of the things I'll tell you about that is that if you really look at this class, you know, you probably say, oh, what do I need marketing for? I'm going to be an accountant. Well, why don't you look at it in this way? And we'll be going through a lot of this stuff uh, in, during, you'll be doing on your own. But a marketing mix, think of yourself as a product. I'm the product. How much I want to make is my price. Where I want to work is the place. And my resume and telling people that I exist is the promotion. Okay, that's the marketing mix. We're going to do that with products. We're going to tell people that we have cake pops. They're $19.95. We sell them on TV and the promotion is the TV ad. We'll, be, uh, uh, we'll talk about decision making. and. Um, uh, uh, pr programmatic themes of globalization. Globalization, everybody says, oh, what is that? Think of a globe. It's just international. Globalization is the same as international. We're going to be talking about your leadership in your company, your teamwork, and obviously the ethics. And, you know, uh, when we talk about ethics, we're talking about, you know, uh, is this ethical in what you're doing? Uh, are you taking advantage of people? Are you using uh, slave labor in India and paying people 16? Is that ethical? 16 cents an hour? Jeez. I don't think you can get anything for 16 cents an hour anymore. 16 cents? Matter, you know, whatever. Maybe in Morocco. So we're going to be evaluating brand strategies, defend target marketing choices. And, uh, justify and all of this stuff is in your class, but you can you're gonna get the PowerPoint You can also look at this presentation Justify pricing decisions. Why? Why your new product because you're going to be designing a new product or a service Why what was your rationale for pricing it at forty nine ninety five? What a bargain assess the strengths and weaknesses which goes back to the SWOT analysis we're going to assess your consumer trends. And just so you know that uh, I worked for Southern New Hampshire University in 2011, and I wrote the undergraduate consumer behavior class. So I don't know if they're still using it, but I wrote it. So I understand that aspect of it. And then I went off into other places, into, into outer space and other schools and wrote other classes and things like that. I you know, after a few years, uh, you know, I get, I move around or I come back and I really love this school. They are terrific. 
So you're going to design business-wide continuous improvement processes for regular reviewing, branding. You know, these are this is where you get into your metrics. Uh, metrics is how you measure the effectiveness of the product. And then towards uh, somewhere in the middle, implementing needed changes. Okay, so you've written this thing and you've done the testing, you've done marketing research, and uh, now you have to change it. I'll give you one quick example. There's a lot of stuff, but I love this example. This guy decides that he's going to make a pink vacuum cleaner because he thinks in his mind that women like the color pink and they are the consumer. So he goes out without testing his concept he makes 100,000 vacuum cleaners. He brings them into the United States. Nobody wants them. Okay, so what does he need to do? Well, it's kind of hard to change the color of a vacuum cleaner. What he needed to do is lower the price to basically nothing just to get his money back. So, you know, he got a return of investment, but made zip. And, uh, I don't know if you're one of the people out there that have a pink vacuum cleaner, but let me know. Let me know. Uh, I, I've never heard anybody say they have one. Uh, uh. All right. You got your book. Your book is a great resource. Every, um, every paper that you use in this class, you can use it as one of your resources. Okay. You're going to go to it but you're probably gonna to go to other things like Google and all of that. This class is a peer review driven class, so your major data should be peer reviewed. You could use company websites and things like that. I'm okay with it as long as you, um, you, know, you have in-text citations and resources in proper APA format. Late assignments, okay, late discussion board assignments, I do not accept them. So after Sunday night, you don't do them, Boom. Okay. Late work, uh, it's 10% after the first week and then nothing. If you turn it in two weeks late, you get a zero. You don't want to do that. I mean, why would you like do all this work to get here and then go, oh, I, I can't turn it in. Now, if you really have a circumstance, like it says here, hospitalization, childbirth, major accident, injury, bereavement, you know, wow. Send me an email, give me the situation, tell me when you're gonna have your work in. I need a date and you need to commit to it within that two work week you know, period of time. Uh, let me tell you some of the uh, excuses that I've had. I had one student write me and say, Professor Shapps, I can't turn in my work because my computer was confiscated by the FBI for evidence. What? I had another student write me and say, Professor Shapps, I was not able to do my work because I, I am incarcerated and uh, for theft. Great, wow, these are, Professor Shapps, I was not able to do my work because I was abducted by aliens and they wouldn't let me use their computer. Wow, we got some creative people. How cool is that? So in week one, uh, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, and then Rice Krispies, Snap, Crackle, Pop. Look at those branding things. Sugar Frosted Flakes, they're great. So anyway, um, these are just some of the things, reminders. You're gonna see lots of uh, um, announcements from me, and I give you all kinds of great little tips and things like that. So. You know, can you keep a secret? Don't tell anybody. No, tell everybody. So uh, discussions offer you the opportunity to express your thoughts. I'm looking for that. I'm not looking for like one paragraph. I'm looking for significant work. This is an MBA class. Um, in module one, you'll compose your one first post by tomorrow, and then you have until Sunday the two others. I will probably ask you a question and use that as one of your uh, peer posts, I'm good with that. Um, when you talk to other students, make sure the first thing you put in the post is, hi, Amy, hello, John, hello, professor, 
because when I read it, I have no idea who you're talking to because I read it different than you do. A uh, couple of things that'll help, expand more on the ideas of your classmates, discuss the differences, explain why you agree or disagree, and provide and share personal experiences. I love that. I love personal experiences. Like for instance, I was watching TV one day and an ad came on and it said, Cake Pops, 1995. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling. If you call in the next five minutes, we'll give you an extra set of Cake Pops for free. All you have to do is pay shipping and handling. I said, that's great, I'm in. Called them up and I said, hey, I want those Cake Pops for 1995 plus shipping and handling and a second set for free for whatever the shipping and handling is. And the woman said, oh my gosh, what a great deal. And thank you, thank you for calling. And she said, okay, the cake pups are $19.99. Shipping and handling is $18.49. And it's another $18.49 for shipping and handling on the other one. I went, forget it. Um, $50 for cake pops? Oh, come on. It was like, you know, a mold, a cake pop mold. I, I, wow, is that ethical, you know? So, you know, you gotta watch out. When you do this, when you're, you know, like, we have, when we're watching ads on TV and like, you know, all these other things, you know, Amazon, you can buy stuff and then send it back. You know, and people do, and you know, it's, that's cool. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Like, get your cake pops and send them back. By the time you send them back, those people are probably in Bolivia. Okay. So if there's anybody from Bolivia, forgive me. All right, strategic positioning. You're gonna, this is what you're talking about. You're gonna read those articles about Kellogg's. But what I'm looking for besides that, and I want you to make sure you put your information about Kellogg's or what you gleaned from reading all of this stuff. This is about your chosen company. So what is the background of the current market? What are the most significant sources of competition for this company? So Kellogg's Post, Post Serials. But this is for your company. What are the significant industry trends? And provide a brief synopsis of the overall market and key segments. If you don't know what a key segment is, look it up. And then you have the two peer responses. And if you answer mine, you only have one to do. Oh. We gotta go forward. All right. Uh oh. We have Houston. We have an issue. I clicked onto that thing, and I should have not. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. You're gonna have a final project submission, and basically what's gonna happen, and uh, is everybody still there? Can somebody just uh, just uh, let me know that you hear me? Anyway, oh good, okay. You having fun so far? Kind of a, people can't believe my energy. Crash and burn. Okay, under me right now is my three-year-old golden doodle named Elton. He is going to be in an ad this Saturday. They're going to photograph him. It's called Zesty Paws. I don't know. My daughter is a marketing executive at a big agency, so she got him to do this. So in week nine, you're going to have a final project. Oh my gosh, I, I'm really concerned about that. No, don't be. Because in week three, you're going to do part one of your final project. In week five, you're going to do part two. And in week seven, you're going to do part three. So by the time you get to week nine, all you do is put all of that stuff together and you do an executive summary. And if you don't know what an executive summary is, don't worry about it because I'm going to give you everything you need to know, what an, you know as far as what I'm looking for. And also, I'm going to give you templates in weeks three, five, seven, and also for the final paper, and all you have to do is make sure that you cut and paste from your own work, by the way, and I mean, I don't want you cutting and pasting and doing plagiarism and all that other stuff, uh, into the document, and you're done. 
so it shouldn't be, nobody's really complained about it. And I'm a pretty easy grader. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like uh, for your first milestone one. You can see that the title page is in APA format. I'm giving you this template. I'm gonna give you everything that I'm looking for, the table of contents. All you have to do is kind of do little paragraphs like this. You can see branding and idea context, write a couple of paragraphs. In-text citations, I'm big on that. So uh, I would probably tend to hope you'll do at least one in-text citation per paragraph. And then obviously you have resources and those should all be in APA format. So the question I have is, for those people that are watching on a computer monitor, um, you can do this experiment. And for those who don't, I'm sorry, you'll have to watch the video some other time. But let me ask you a question. I mean, this is really an important question. Can you follow directions? Let's try an online magic trick. Are you ready? Take your finger and place it on any one of the circles that you see on your screen. You want to change it? Go ahead. If you're going to change it, change it now. But now, hold your finger wherever it is and listen carefully to what I tell you. You should be on any one of the circles that you see on your screen. All right, now move your finger left or right to the nearest diamond. I'll wait a second for you. You got it there? Okay. Now I want you to move your finger up or down to the nearest circle. Okay, did you do that? Great. Now listen very carefully. I want you to move your finger diagonally to the nearest diamond. Okay, good. All right, and finally, move your finger left or right to the nearest circle. And I should have no idea where it arrived. All right. Anybody get it? Anybody have their finger on the red dot? How cool is that? How did I know I could do that? So, you know what? I am an online magician. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's move on to the next final project guidelines. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the project content will be, you know, everybody is talking about the MBA 515 class. You know, if you came up with an original product or idea, that's great. But if you read the, the, the concept of this class, you can have the company, but you need to come up with an original idea. So. If it's like, you know, if it's an energy company, you have to come up with like, maybe this is an idea. You don't have to do anything. Uh, original lighting or something like that. The project content will be covered in material in each of the model, modules. If needed, you may change your project idea in module two. I would look ahead all the way to week three and just get a, you know, uh, get an idea of what you, what you want to do. And the project idea that you choose should be researchable. That's this is a research class. And have a reasonable amount of publicly available information. So the question is, if your company is, uh, you know, Mugu Gai Pan, and you're making cake pops, uh, where the heck are you going to get information? So I usually tell people to take the top 100, uh, Fortune 500 companies, and create your own product. So. If you take like Apple uh, and you're going to create a new product called, I don't know, an app that uh, starts your car from inside the house or something or protects your car, a security system, something that you can market. So you basically have all this information from Apple, so you're not searching all over the place or from Amazon or Nike or from you know, a big company, and then you just create this product, and you could base it on, like, instead of an iPhone, you can have an e-phone, okay? Uh, and, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so you can do it the hard way, 
or you can do it the easy way. But I'm telling you, I'm grading it, and I want you to get an A, and the majority of my students do get A's, by the way, just so you know. Uh, I would have to say that in the last class, I think only two students got anything below an A. You know why? Because they listened to me. You know, I've taught it a long time. I want you to make it easy. I mean, everybody, I, we got jobs, we got children, we got dogs, you know, we have things we're doing on weekends. Do we really want to spend 10 hours researching a company that doesn't exist or there's so little bad on it? Okay, remember I said that? I'm not going to say it again. Uh, you're going to use a, pro oh, I said it again. So, the email, whatever, I don't care. Okay. Remember I said the easiest project is that don't use a nonprofit, don't use a service-oriented company. For example, Walmart is not a good choice because they are a channel. They sell product. Avoid a company that falls under the 100 Fortune 500 companies. I should have waited and said everything here. Do select a company that manufactures products. Look, you don't have to. I'm just, these are recommendations. So Apple or Toyota. Using a company with too many SBUs, and I think by now you should know what that is, strategic business units, like PepsiCo or Coca-Cola, uh, will make you crazy. So you have to just like pick one thing. Like so if it's Disney, it would be Disney theme parks, and you have a new ride called, um, I don't know, Lion King. All right? They take you through the jungle and uh, and you get, it's, you know, I don't know, it's like one of those Peter Pan rides and you go through the line, you know, the, you walk into the, into the ride, you get in a little, like a little Jeep and the first thing you see is like Simba and you go, how cool. You throw him like a piece of meat and go, get out of my way. Oh, <laughs> you shoot them with water. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm crazy. Can you tell? No, I'm not. I just love to have fun. Okay, so uh, this is your class, and you can go through that. It's there's we have a syllabus, and you can see exactly what you're going to be going through. And all work must be submitted in APA format, which means you have to indent, you have to use index citations. I like to keep my references. Uh, after, well, not after, but you, nothing before 2013 or 14. Let's keep it current. Uh, make sure to use the, well, you're going to get my template. So, you know, if you go off and do your, the one thing that's really important, don't do a contiguous paper. You will lose me. Break it up into questions like I showed you before. Uh, you don't need that. Okay, so you could see this the paper looks like in tech citations. Um, you know what? I, I don't want to go through this. You should know what they are by now. And this is kind of what a paper will look like. You can see that there are, you know, breaks in it. Here's the table of contents, sources, but you're breaking it up into questions. All right, uh, your first week. Uh, which is in week three, I should say, your, is your first milestone, and it establishes your chosen organization's directions within the marketplace. Where are we going? Without a strong sense of organization purpose within the marketplace, knowledge of consumer trends, and how to meet target market needs. Okay, so once again, if you don't know what any of those things are, you can look them up. It's, it's not hard for me, but I know this is going to be a little challenging the first week. So um, the marketplace is where you sell your stuff and consumer trends are what are the people that buy things? What are they buying? And your target market are the people that you would target to. So if you make um, Frisbees, you would probably target to young people. And is it appropriate price is, you know, you don't sell Frisbee for $49.95, maybe $5.99, um, and so forth. Uh, this is all in your class. Milestone establishes how the organization will differentiate 
uh, from his competition. So what's your competition doing? So Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Post, uh, BMW, Mercedes, those are kind of your competition. Demographics are the people that buy the products. So a demographic could be a person 18 to 34, makes $70,000 a year, lives in a small house, two bedrooms, one bath, and has 1.2 children. I never could understand what that 1.2 children is. Have you ever seen a 0.2 child? I don't know, that's kind of weird, but actually they add it all up, you know, and they do a median, a mean, median, and mode kind of thing. Point two. Well, if there was a point two, that would have, my parents would have called me the point two. Uh, <laughs> milestone we graded with the milestone one rubric. Yes, I grade with rubrics. What does peer review mean? I think we should watch this. I think we should. Maybe not. Teams. During the essay crunch, if you get piles of assignments, you might get an essay assignment that asks for peer-reviewed articles only for your sources. You may wonder, what's the difference and why are these articles important? Peer-reviewed articles are generally articles that have been reviewed in detail by scholars in the same field. But how does a peer review article get published in a scholarly journal? Well, your professors do more than just teach. They also play the role of a researcher and often must produce new research. Their research can vary depending on their field, from physics to the study of the human body, or the economy to philosophical ponderings of Socrates, and can be published in a book or journal. Some of this research requires funding. Once the professor or professors, some do work together, have findings and interpret the results, they can produce a paper for submission. Scholarly research can take several years and is a long process. Once the paper is written, the researchers or your professors will send it to a journal that undergoes the peer review process. Please keep in mind, not every journal has a peer review process. The editor reviews the submission and ensures that it fits the journal's scope or topic area. If it does, the editor sends out copies to other scholars in the field. These scholars are experts in the subject and have already published their own work. These scholars are also the peer reviewers. It is important to note that you may hear the term referee, which is another way of saying peer reviewer. When the scholars are reviewing the article, the major questions that they ask are, is the research new and interesting to scholars in the field? Are there mistakes in the results or writing? Does the research and results make sense? The reviewers send their notes back to the editor and the editor decides if the paper should be published in the journal. If it is accepted, the editor will send back an article with corrections and notes that the researcher must make changes to. Most articles are rejected by prominent journals, so the process of review is quite tough. Once the article is published in a journal, a library that pays for a subscription to the journal may receive the most recent publication. If you need more help in understanding peer review or research, please visit the Learning Commons. Or your library. Or online. Okay. So here's your three, uh, this is your your uh, milestones, week three, week five, week seven and nine. It'll go so fast, you won't believe it. And then all of a sudden, you'll be at the end of the class and you're gonna go, this guy was fantastic. We're gonna give him the reviews, all sixes. This guy, he explained everything, he gave us information, he answered our emails like super fast. You know, he's good looking. All right. Um, and then your final project rubric, as you can see, they're like little, you know, not a lot, but it's all based on 350 points is your final, final, final uh, uh, project. So you can imagine how important that is. 300 to one third, over one third of your grade in this class is the final project. However, the final project is really being done in weeks three, five, seven, and I may ask you to make some changes along the way, and that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do is you have to uh, uh, make those changes. If I say more in-text citations, 
go back and put Warren's text citations. Because if anybody picks this up, if say I want to follow it back, maybe I want to follow your resource and see where you got it. I, I, you know, you're, you're writing, you know, you're writing not only for me, but you're writing for the school. They could pick it up at any time and look at it and see how you're doing. I doubt they would do that. But. And that's that. Uh, well, this is in week two, so you don't, I'm not going to go into that. And we are basically done. So here's what we're going to do. If you have any questions, take, take uh, yourself off of privately and put chat everyone, and you can write me a question and I'll answer it right now. If you want to talk, uh, put it in the chat under everyone, and then I'll unmute you. Anybody have any questions? Um, okay, we have one right here. What's the color of money? No, I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. All right. Anybody? Any questions? No? Nothing? You don't have any questions about working in Universal Pictures, being a marketing guy? for Anybody wanting to be in marketing? Ever. I'm going to unmute you if you want to talk. We'll just do it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to let you unmute yourself. Anybody want to be in marketing? Uh, unmute. Okay, so now we have one. Anybody want to talk? You can unmute yourself. Anything. Okay. Uh, yeah. If that's the case, one cup of rice, a cup and a quarter of And we'll close out the meeting. Thank you for being in the class. I was asking if anyone had questions. And then he's like, just put it in the group chat. I can't get into the group chat for whatever reason. I'm on my phone. So I guess that might be a part of it. No one? No. Okay. So uh, thank you so much. I hope you got stuff from this. And um, we'll see you in the class. And again, I'm here for you. All right. This is what I love doing. And do the best you can. And I'll bet you you'll be rewarded highly. Because, like I said, I am a competency-based instructor, and your grade is going to be based on how, if you understand it, you don't have to be perfect. Where do you get out? The templates will be in the announcements, and you'll get that in week three. Okay? And, and I'll give it to you all along the way. And then once you get that... Uh, and not only that, I think I even give you an, an example of what the paper should look like. How about that? How many of your instructors do that? Okay. How many of your instructors ask you if you like Cheetos? Okay. <laughs> All right. You, you kind of feel where I, you know, you kind of see where I'm at. I mean, I'm really different than most of the other people because I really enjoy this. I love giving back and I really like to have fun. Okay. I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Write me if you have a question. Uh, you want the template now? Gail, I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, put the template up. Okay. Give me a day or so. Is that, would that be okay? I absolutely put it up. Whatever you want. Okay. Just watch for the announcements and I'll put the templates up, but I won't put the examples up until that week. All right, everybody, go home. <laughs> oh, you're already home. I'm going to go walk my dog. Have a great in weekend. Enjoy the class. It really is interesting. Anytime you don't get a concept, you don't understand, just Google it or go to the book. I promise you it's going to be that easy. Okay. Take care. Enjoy. Bye-bye.